This is Super AGI. It's essentially AutoGPT on steroids. It can use tools, it can run multiple agents in parallel, it has a graphical user interface, it's super easy to install, and they're adding new functionality every single day. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Super AGI and also how to use it. It has a lot of functionality. I'm gonna show you around some of it and then I encourage you to play around with it. Let's go. So this is the GitHub repo for Super AGI. It's by Transformer Optimus and it's currently on GitHub Trending. It has a lot of functionality. Let's review some of it really quick and then I'm gonna get into the installation guide. So first, obviously, you can provision spawn and deploy autonomous AI agents. A couple things that it does better than AutoGPT is the fact that you can extend it with a bunch of different tools right out of the box. It also has a graphical user interface and you can run agents concurrently. Here's some of the tools that it has. So Slack, email, Google search, GitHub, Zapier, Instagram, and it's all wrapped up in a Docker image, so it's super easy to install. Let me show you how to do that. The first thing you're gonna need to do is get Docker. So go to docker.com, download Docker, install it, and then have it up and running. This is what it looks like. And you could just keep that on in the background. Next, we're gonna open a Visual Studio code. Then we're gonna click this little button in the top right that says toggle panel. That'll open up our terminal within Visual Studio code. Next, on the repo page, we're gonna click this little green code button, and then we're gonna copy the URL. Once the terminal opens up, we're going to type cd change directory and change to our desktop. From there, we're going to type git clone and then paste that URL that we just copied. Hit enter and that'll clone it to our desktop. Then we're going to come up to this explorer icon. We're going to click it. We're going to click open folder and then we're going to select super AGI and click open. Then again in the top right, we're going to toggle panel. So that'll open up our terminal. And while that's opening, the next thing we're going to do is right click on config underscore template.yaml and we're going to rename it and we're just going to rename it config.yaml and that's where we're going to store all our environment variables so this is where you're going to put your pinecone key your open ai key your google key everything anything else that you want to use this is where you put it so for example if you want to use email you can do it from here today we're just going to be using open ai pinecone and google search the next thing you're going to do is create an api key with open ai so if you don't already have an account sign up for open ai then navigate to platform.openai.com account API dash keys. We're going to click create new key right here. We're going to name it super two because I already have a super. Then I'm going to say create secret key. I'm going to copy it and don't worry, I'm going to revoke all of these keys before publishing this video. Then I'm going to come back to the repo, specifically the config.yaml file. I'm going to find the open AI key right there and I'm going to paste it and save. The next thing we need is a pinecone API key. So if you're using a free pinecone account, you can only have one index at a time. I've already created one, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then on the left over here, here, we're going to click API keys. I'm going to click create new API key and then enter the key name. I'm going to call it super two again, create key. I'll copy the key value. We're going to switch back to Visual Studio Code. And then at the very top, it says your Pinecone API key. We're going to paste over that, but we also need the Pinecone environment. So if I switch back, this is the Pinecone environment right there. I'm going to copy that as well. And I'm going to paste it and save. The next thing we're going to do is get the Google API key. So you're going to come to Google Cloud Services right here under API and Services click it. Now I already have one called Super AGI, so I'm just going to use that again. But if you don't, you're going to click this and create a new project. Then up here, you can search for different resources. So you're going to type custom search API. And then under marketplace, it says custom search API. You're going to go ahead and click that manage, create credentials. And then you're just going to say custom search API right there. We're going to use the application data option. And no, we're not using any of these. Then you click next. Then from here, we're going to type Super AGI. It's gonna create the service account ID automatically or can generate it. And then you can have a description, but you don't need it. Create and continue, select a role. This is optional, we're gonna skip over that. And then grant users access to this account. And we don't need to do that either. So I click done. Then on the left side, we're gonna click credentials. At the top, we're gonna to click create credentials and we need an API key. It's creating one now. I'm gonna copy that, close it. We're gonna switch back to the config.yaml file and we're gonna place it right here over the Google API key, then save. The last thing we need is the search engine ID. And you're going to get that from this programmable search engine website. It's kind of weird that you need this, but you do. And I'm going to drop all of these links in the description below. So from here, click get started. I already have one super AGI, but if you didn't, you're going to click add. You can add a search engine name and then just create it. It's pretty straightforward, but we're going to use our existing one super AGI right there. And then we need this search engine ID. I'm going to copy it. We're going to switch back to the config.yaml file and place that right there click save. 
Now we have everything we need. Now to install Super AGI, we need to do two things with Docker. The first thing we need to do is type docker dash compose up dash dash build and then hit enter. And that's gonna build everything from our repository. And again, you do need Docker up and running for this to work. The nice thing about Docker is you're likely not gonna run into any of the Python versioning issues, the module missing issues that I know so many of you ask about. I run into that every single time. So it's really nice that the engineers put this together. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's up and running. Then the last thing we gotta do is just go to localhost. So go to your browser, type localhost, colon 3000 and then hit enter. And there it is. Here's super AGI. This is what a fresh install looks like when you first get started. So we're gonna go over to this agents tab right here. We're gonna click create agent. I'm gonna say this is a test agent. We do need a description. So testing, and then we can add one or many goals here. So we're gonna say research AI topics for YouTube videos. That's the only goal that I'm gonna give it. And if you have GPT-4 API access, you can select it here, but if not, you can always go with GPT-3.5 Turbo. So I'm gonna go with Turbo for now because it's really fast. And here is where you select the tools. So these are the tools that Super AGI has to use. Let's look at them. Read email, send email, append file, delete file. The one that we definitely want is Google search, read file, and write file. Everything else I encourage you to play around with and find what works for you. It also gives us some advanced options, but I'm not gonna go through that now. And the nice thing is Super AGI seems to figure out what tools it needs as it goes. Then we click this button, create and run, and it starts. There it's thinking. It has all of the details of this agent. And again, the nice thing is you can have multiple agents running in parallel. Now, if you wanna see a little bit more information about what's going on, switch back to Visual Studio Code, and you can actually look through the logs of what it's doing. All right, there it goes. So I am a test agent, my role is testing. It gives a whole bunch of information. I think this is all the prompt. And if we scroll down, here's the next thing it's gonna do. Determine which next command to use and respond using the format specified above. Thoughts, to achieve my goal, I should start by performing a Google search to find relevant AI topics. Here's a Google search returned, and then it gives us a bunch of information returned from the Google search, and it'll continue on. Here's the next thought. I should save the relevant information to a file for future reference. Plan, save the AI topics to a file. So it automatically grabbed the tool, write file, and it wrote it to a file called AI underscore topics.txt. Really, really cool. And it thinks it's finished. Since I have completed my goal of researching AI topics for YouTube videos, I should use the finish command. It also includes criticism, just like AutoGPT does. So it's thinking and then also criticizing its own thoughts and planning around those criticisms. So that's Super AGI. Now you know how to install it and run it. Play around with it. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to jump in our Discord. I'm happy to answer questions there. And let me know what you build with Super AGI. If you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.